Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to continue looking at iOS 5 versus Windows Phone 7 Mango and Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. We have the iPhone 4S, we have the HTC Titan, and the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, we're going to compare Bluetooth today. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options on the iPhone. Now we'll compare Bluetooth here, and then we'll also compare Bluetooth in a car connected to a device. So let's turn it on here. And under here, we have to go to our Bluetooth settings, which are actually under general. So if we go to general, you can see Bluetooth is on. There's really not a whole lot of options. It's either on or off, lets you pair with a device, and that's about it. You can use Siri to read messages back, and you can text with Siri. So we'll look at that a little bit later. On Windows Phone 7 Mango, uh, here we have the Titan. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And we have Bluetooth options, so we'll go to settings. And under settings, we can turn Bluetooth on or off. There isn't a whole lot of options here either, other than for pairing. So you can see there's my MacBook Pro, but I'm not going to pair it with that. Under settings here, under speech, we also have some other options for this phone. And you can see enable speech recognition over the network isn't really what we want, but we do want read aloud incoming text messages. And it says Bluetooth only. We can say Bluetooth and headsets, wired headsets only, or always off. Let's keep it on Bluetooth only. So when a text message comes in, it will read it. And we'll take a look at that after as well. We can also text with our voice here as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options on the Galaxy Nexus. On the Galaxy Nexus, we'll go to settings. And here you can see we have our settings. Up here we have Bluetooth, it's on. Not a whole lot of options here, and it's looking for available devices. So there isn't a whole lot of options under here other than that we can rename the phone, visibility timeout, and show received files. And we'll take a look at what this does with the Bluetooth headset as well. So we'll do that in just a moment. We'll set up in the car and we'll take a look at that. Here we are set up in my Toyota. I have my iPhone in a dock that I did a Pro Clip video for before. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. And we have the phone paired via Bluetooth. Now I don't have Bluetooth audio in the car, so I use the dock connection for the audio. But I do have Bluetooth for phone. So we'll go ahead and text a message. So we'll do that. Text Zachariah Zolo. And the audio goes through my, my sound system. What do you want to say to Zachariah Zolo? We're just testing Bluetooth in my car. I updated your message. It says, we're just testing Bluetooth in my car. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, I'll send your message. So it sent the message, and when we're done, we can hit this button. We don't have to do this with our hands or our eyes at all. We can just do it all by voice. Now, I'm going to have my brother, who's next to me, actually send me a text so you can see how it handles that. So you'll see it come in just as a normal notification. And it came in. Now, I heard that it vibrated. I don't have the sound on. Let me turn the sound on. It would make a ding through the system that I've actually got a phone text. Let me go ahead and read it. Read text messages. New message from Zachariah Zolo. All right. You can reply or read it again. Reply. Okay, I can send a text to Zachariah Zolo for you. So you can see how all of that works. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the Titan works. I have the HTC Titan paired to my car, and we'll check out the Bluetooth on this device. So let's go ahead and show that we're using it. Now, I just have it in this dock, but in order to use it, we can just hold the, the Windows button. Text Zachariah Zolo. Text Zachariah Zolo. Which number? So we'll have to tap this one. Say your message. I'm using the HTC Titan on Bluetooth, just testing it out. I'm using the HTC Time on Bluetooth, just testing it out. You can say send or try again. Send. 
So you can see it's pretty simple and works really well. It's The voice recognition is decent, but that was kind of a tough one for it for whatever reason. So we'll go ahead and see what it's like to receive text messages. Message from Zachariah Zalo. You can say read it or ignore. Read it. Hey. You can say reply, call, or I'm done. Reply. Say your message. I just got your message. You could type a little bit longer. I just got your message. You could type longer. You can say send or try again. Send. So you can see this phone is pretty much hands off. Other than having access to the home button, you pretty much don't have to do a whole lot, especially if the person has one contact. Makes it really easy. It's pretty much completely hand off. Here we have the Galaxy Nexus. I have it set up and paired. So we'll go ahead and text my brother, Zach. Text Zachariah Zolo. Text Zachariah Zolo. It's listing the wrong number, so I have to tap here and switch the number. Then tap again into the message and hit the, the microphone. I'm just testing out the Galaxy Nexus using Bluetooth. So it sent the text message and it actually uh, will send it and then when I receive one we'll see what it looks like when it comes in. So we're waiting for the text to come in. Read text messages. So it's loading, and I don't think it's actually going to read the message back like the others. So you can see it doesn't have quite the functionality, but we can do one other thing. Text Zachariah Zolo, how are you doing today? And you can see it's to the wrong number, so I do have to change it again. And it's just something I haven't corrected in here for the contact. You can see it's uh, this would be a little bit difficult to do while driving. So we'll go ahead and hit send, and it will send. And it works pretty well, but it's not the best as far as compared to the others. As you can see, it just doesn't have the same amount of things you can do with it, at least that I can find in any of the settings whatsoever. So that's Bluetooth on all of these phones. Let me know, as always, what you think and which phone you use and maybe some features I missed that you might find more helpful uh, that you can do with your headset. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.